Hey guys, fans of Set Sun Nation Team here with another video. Today I'm going to tutorial review of the Ultra Monster series, Kimer. Now, before we take a look at this figure, let's take a look at the tag he came with. Now, here is a tag. Figure number 09. Hang on. Figure 09, Kimer. Pretty sure it says bio. Has a nice image there of Kimer based on its appearance from the Ultraman Z episode or Z series. Ultra Monster Series logo, Ultraman logo, uh, stuff in Japanese that I cannot read, Bandai logo, and nothing in the middle, and on the back, more stuff in Japanese that I cannot read. And if you want to read because you know Japanese, go ahead. Although there's one thing I know about this, is to support Bandai.com uh, .jp. And this one, remember, customer service inquires are not accepted from outside of Japan. So if you're in America, like me, there's no customer service, so yeah, what a bummer. So yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna do that for now on. Anyways guys, uh, let's take a look at this figure up close. I got this figure from Amazon Japan. Now if you want to get yours from Amazon Japan, be aware of the, the shipping costs. So yeah. Anyways, let's get in close here so we can look at the details up close. Alright, let's get in some details. Alright, a nice... Uh, yellow paint for the whatever this is the skin uh, white for the eye black for the pupil and um, black paint or gray black dark blue paint for the, the the outer part I don't know how to say it white eye and another one so yeah I think he has three eyes like one two three yeah it's three it's three eyes Nice detailing on the chest. And on the fingers, at least the fingers are not like fists. Instead, they're just spread out fingers. This one looks like he's pointing. And it looks like he's wearing some shoes. Some detailing on the feet. And sadly, he has no spark doll scan. What a bummer. I paid so much for this figure, and yet I get the one without the spark doll skin. Wow. So yeah. So yeah. Overall, this figure has nice detailing. Uh, the scale may be wrong on the recent Ultra Monster series figures, but at least the detailing they did is really good overall. So yeah. Anyways, guys, let's do some articulation uh, really quickly. Uh, the arms can do a full 360. The other arm can do a full 360 as well. So you can get into some like a uh, running pose. Yeah, I like to do that. And uh, 360 rotation on the, on the waist. So, yeah. Paint-wise, it's good. Uh, detailing looks really good, and articulation is neat overall. I will, I and again, I would like to have like you know head articulation, but unfortunately, I feel like that's be that's gonna be asking way too much. So yeah. Anyways, let's do some size comparisons. Here he is next to Sevenger, EU tiny guy. He's from Here he is next to another alien in my collection. Another alien in my collection. This size looks good overall. It looks good. And here he is next to Ultraman Z Alpha Edge. So yeah, like you can see that person with him and Z. So yeah. No, oh, darn it! Get him. Uh. Sorry. Sorry. And here he is next to Ultraman Ginga, where he was from. And I think the scaling looks uh, really well overall. I mean, like, look at that. Like, does this look good in scale? I mean, yeah, it does, kind of. 
And for other size comparisons, um, here he is next to my movie monster series, Mechagodzilla. So yeah. Here he is next to uh, Powered Bolton, which I did a review on, which you should really check it out. And man, he is really high or tall. And lastly, here he is next to my um, movie Monster Series Destroyer, which I did a review on. So, yeah. And just because, uh, here he is next to my um, Playmates Mega Godzilla, which I did a review on already as well. So, yeah. Anyways, guys. Um, unfortunately, he has no Spark Doll Scan, as you can see right here. He has no Spark Doll Scan, therefore I can't do this live scanning thing on the Ginga Spark. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, that's my review of the um, Ultra Monster Series Kimmer. Uh, if you like this video, I be sure to give it a like, share it with friends, be sure to like this video as well. And, yeah. Thank you guys, um, the figure overall is good, the detailings is good overall, detailings, the paint job, it's outstanding. I mean, uh, this part looks a little odd, but I can work with it. So, I mean, yeah, I can work with it. Uh, although, um, the blue, the, there's only two blue lines, I mean, I'm pretty sure there should be one more right there. I know that, I don't know that screen, that's accurate or not, but, yeah. And again, you can get into some uh, running pose. This looks really nice. Uh, you can either do this or do that. I mean, he, this one looks better. He looks like he's more running than just like standing there. So, like, yeah. Uh, wait, hang on. Let me just get him uh, pose for the thumbnail. There you go. Nah. I think this one looks better. So, anyways, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well. All that will be linked down below. And yeah, guys. I hope you guys you like this video. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.